day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, a user wanted to make this bomb. I've got some steps. Let's see how it goes. Step one, of course, is get in Tinkercad and create new 3D design. I'm going to start with the fins, and the user said they wanted eight. So I'm going to bring out this polygon. Real easily, I can make this eight and press enter. And now I want to search for something called the swept NASA. So if I type swept, here it comes. Friends, because of cruising, I can now bring this out and put it right on one of those sides. Once I've got it, I need to rotate it. If you look at this one right here and hold shift, it just rotates two clicks or 90 degrees. I can now take that one and put it on this side. See how that fits perfect? And then I want to put one on the exact opposite side. I'm going to do it like this. Control D. Click on that one. Do C for cruising. Grab one of those handles and just take it right to that spot. Once again, hold down shift and rotate it two clicks or 90 degrees. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground. So I'm going to cancel the search. Get to the work plane. Click here. Now I'm going to make my work plane on this face manually by doing W. And when I select those three items, press the letter L for a line. Bingo! I can get them lined up right in the middle along that line. I also want them in the same spot here, so I'm going to do that as well. W for work plane and put it down on the bottom. So our fins are in place. Now watch this. I can delete this part. I can grab these and do control D. And then we want to shift rotate. So then I'm going to go 45 degrees, which is one click, and do control D, control D. And you have instantly got the eight awesome fins. How cool is that? I'm going to select them all and do D to drop. So that means they're at the zero level. And now I'm going to bring out the tube for the bottom piece of that picture. We're going to change its radius. So right now you can see a radius of 10 is inside. So let's try the radius of 25 and press enter. I'm going to make the sides round and we're going to change it to 35. That's too far. And walk it back to 30. There you can see 30 is pretty darn slick. I'm going to raise those up, change the wall thickness to 2. If you wanted to add a bevel, let's put a 2 on this. And then I'm going to make the bevel segments 5 and press enter so it's rounded. Just like that, we have got the start of this awesome project. Now to line this up, we need to group all these in the middle. So I've selected those, and let's hit group. Now we can select them all and do L for a line, and we want middle and middle. You can see that looks pretty decent. These are poking out underneath because of my bevel. So I'm going to select them and just do control up to raise them up a couple pieces. Now we need to make the bottom of our bomb. We're going to do that with the paraboloid. When we bring it out, set it right here. Notice if we had moved over on these, because of cruising, we can set it on the edges. And that'd be kind of crazy, so we don't want that. We do want to flip this. So hit mirror. I'm going to bring it into the middle. And we're going to use shift stretch to raise it up until it looks like we want. That matches close enough for me just because I'm having fun. Real quickly, we can check this measurement. Notice it's 54. So then we'll watch this. If we bring out this piece right here, I'm going to shift stretch it and type 54. So it'll match because remember there is that little ring. Let's do F for fit view. And I'm going to make that skinny like the ring would be. That match is pretty good, but I do want it to be more smooth. You could type 64, so it was perfect. Pick the thickness you think is awesome. Pick the color you think is awesome. And then I'm going to finish it up by cruising a half roof on. And we already know the measurement. We do have to grab one of these corners 
and shift stretch and we're going to type 54 and press enter to wrap it up friends we're going to grab everything do L for line and we want it middle and middle oops I missed let's do it again L for line and one more middle and friends you have got a fun nuke get your colors the way you want I'm going to make this a blue real quickly I'll also remind you that you can click on these colors and choose custom and find the exact blue that you want by just moving them to those areas I head home over here so we can see it all that my friends is how you make a nuke if you want to change the measurements notice I only grab these top ones and boom you can stretch it to make it look just like you want back to presets I think that needs to be white you can also take these and make them a little steeper or shorter. Anything you want as you make your very own custom Tinkercad Nuke. Right here I'm going to name it. And then I'm also going to go back to Tinkercad. And I'm going to let the whole world see it. It's so simple. Click on Properties. And of course you've got your design name. I always mention that there is a tutorial coming soon. Add some tags. Don't forget if you type HLMT23, I check that tag almost every day to see what new things have been shared with me. Of course, this is where you make it public so everybody can see it. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because I want you to come up here and follow the tutorial to gain epic skills. Real quickly, I'm going to re-enter it by hitting Tanker this. I'm going to show you two more things real quick. I'm going to swap this one to red. I'm going to swap the middle one to be white. And I'm going to make these blue. I just think that pattern looks a little bit cooler. It's at home so it fits in better. And then I want to show you this. Settings. You can hide the grid. See how that looks a lot more cool. I'm going to shift right click drag to align it. And then watch this as well. Settings. You can change your background color to anything you want. I'm going to make it a light blue, and that, my friends, I think is pretty darn cool. Friends, as I wrap up, let me remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories, and then right below it, the first day lessons. These are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad. Friends, I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.